Now the question is why reproductive health? Why do we need to talk about or why do we need to study about reproductive health? This is very very important because this addresses some of the very very sensitive issues which are existing in the world. Now you might not know the situations or the issues prevailing in different parts of the world but when you talk about our own country maybe in India itself we see so many issues are there it, it is still there so and we need some solution to those issues and reproductive health addresses quite a few of them so one of them is overpopulation now we actually see the data says that the population is increasing has been increasing like anything so the increase is very huge now what happens when the population increases so much now when the population increases too much it is something like you have an say aquarium a small aquarium and inside that you have say five fishes now what happens the fishes start reproducing amongst themselves and more and more fishes are there are being produced inside the same aquarium now what's happening the size of your aquarium is not changing correct but the number of fishes are increasing from 5 it became 10 from 10 20 20 to 30 30 to 35 maybe a day arrives when the equate the size of the aquarium is still the same but inside now you have 100 fishes now what will happen when there are 100 fishes the amount of water present there which is extremely important for the survival of the fishes or the amount of food which you provide so that will become less for 100 fishes and as a result what will happen they will not be able to survive one thing that is possible is maybe due to the pressure of so many fishes the aquarium might break or the fishes will start dying so that is going to be the result so in a very similar way we also need to control the population so that we I mean otherwise there will be scarcity of everything we will not be able to provide all the facilities to all the people if the number of people keeps on increasing like this so in reproductive health we actually talk about family planning which tries to address the problem of overpopulation so to address this problem we will discuss about family planning and there we will see that how can the size of a family be limited to a smaller number and there are many ways of doing it so we will see that female feticides we also see that um, there are so many people it happens that the a female is pregnant and uh, by some means they get a sex determination of the fetus done and they get to know that the fetus is going to be a baby girl now in many it, not only in india but in many other countries they have this uh, thinking that they want a baby boy they do not want a girl child and i really don't know why there is no difference between a girl child and a male child right but still people have that mindset because everybody wants a boy i mean i absolutely do not know the reason but that is how the thought process is there even now so what happens when they get to know about the sex of the fetus they get an abortion done so they do not want a girl child and this is extremely not correct basically when you are getting an abortion done you are actually killing a baby so it, it has not yet taken the form of a baby. We all saw right in the last lesson that how a baby is formed inside a mother's womb. It starts from a single zygote, then the zygote forms morula, then blastocyst and gradually it develops into a baby. So at the very initial stages itself, you are just finishing it off. So basically you are killing a baby, which is not at all right. So this is another problem which is prevalent in many parts of uh, the world. So in reproductive health, we also talk about this. We will see that there are ways where you do not arrive at this situation. High maternal mortality rate. So the in, what is maternal mortality rate? So maternal mortality rate is the number of female dying while delivery. So actually earlier, I mean, if you compare to the past, now it has at least reduced I mean, now less number of females die during delivery but earlier a lot of females used to die while delivering or giving birth to a baby or due to some pregnancy complications or things like that due to these kind of reproductive issues a lot of females used to die so the maternal mortality rate is used to be really high now it has at least improved but in again 
we are not only talking about India. In different parts of the world, you will find areas where the maternal mortality rate, which is often termed as MMR, is still very, very high. So in order to control that, also reproductive health, uh, reproductive health helps. How? It actually talks about uh, the care that is needed for the pregnant mother. It also talks about the medical facilities that need to be provided to a pregnant female. It also talks about how to take care of a newly born child. Unwanted pregnancies. Now, throughout the world, it has been seen that due to, uh, due to different types of scenarios, people end up having unwanted pregnancy. They do not want a baby, but still they get pregnant. Now, there are there can be situation where, where people casually uh, got into unprotected sex and as a result, they are pregnant, but they never wanted to be. So that is one scenario. There can be another scenario where some sex crimes happen like rape or something and the female is pregnant. So obviously the female does never want it to be, but still she is. So there can be many scenarios of unwanted pregnancies and these unwanted pregnancies later create a lot of problems. For example, if a female is pregnant unwantedly, what would she like to do? She would like to get the baby aborted because she doesn't want a baby at all. Maybe because um, there can be many factors, maybe because uh, she was not willing for the sexual intercourse and she was forced to do that. So obviously she doesn't want a baby. There, there can be some societal reasons like she is not yet married but she got pregnant because she got into a sexual intercourse. So she, she again doesn't want a baby. So the reasons can be numerous but at the end of the thing, the, the moral of the story is that she doesn't want a baby. So what will she do? She'll go for abortion. Now when you talk about abortion, there can be many side effects of abortion too. So it is always beneficial to avoid avoid unwanted pregnancies. So now the question is how to avoid unwanted pregnancies. So that is what we will talk about when we discuss the contraceptive methods. So there are a lot of contraceptive methods by which couples can avoid unwanted pregnancies to avoid any future complication. So that is also what we will discuss under that is also a section which will be discussed under the reproductive health. Sexually transmitted diseases, this is extremely important because uh, we actually see a large number of people uh, dying due to these kind of diseases which spread through sexual contact. Now the transmission is so high because people are not aware of uh, these kind of diseases. People don't know that okay, if I get into um, an unsafe sexual intercourse, I might get infected with these kind of deadly diseases. They don't know. So when they don't know, they don't bother, right? But when you have information, when you know stuff, then you are aware before you, you are, you be, you are cautious before you get into anything like that, right? So it is very important that people are uh, educated on all these things like how to avoid unwanted pregnancies or how to um, I mean how to try to prevent the transmission of sexually transmitted diseases or how to ensure family planning. So these are some of the things which everybody should know at the right time and the right time is when you are about to enter your adolescence because when you enter your adolescence you are actually entering the reproductive phase of your life right so when you are entering reproductive phase of your life you are actually physically you are becoming capable of reproducing so that is the time when you should have all the information about reproduction about reproductive health so that you do not end up doing something for which you might regret later Lack of care results in diseased children. So in many times it is seen that people just neglect the care of a pregnant woman or people neglect the care of a newly born child. So that results in diseased children and then if the children are diseased, it's like, I mean, they, they contribute less to the society and then they become a burden in some sense, right? So even though now they have also been, I mean, they are also encouraged to do good things. But the question is when there is an option where you can prevent making them diseased. So that is always better, right? Prevention is always better than cure. So why do you want to, uh, why do you want to neglect the care when you know that that can result in diseased children?
increased sex crimes so this is again another important uh, crime which is happening throughout the world and because of that also the reproductive uh, the reproductive health gets affected so reproductive health also talks about scenarios which can handle these kind of issues better